Welcome to Hidden Spotlight Treasures. Today we have some rare letters from George Reedy. This is George Reedy. He was the White House Pre Press Secretary for President Johnson. It's going to give us a rare insight to how isolated the President can be and I just thought I'd show you some of these letters. Now George Reedy, again, Press Secretary, Starting from the beginning, here, look here, he's the vice president. Look at the date. See the date? He's vice president. And then, of course, by November 27th, he's the press secretary for the president of the United States. So I just want to make sure you understand that even before Johnson became the president, Reedy was his press secretary when he was the vice president. So I thought I would just show you these letters. These letters are back and forth correspondence with Sig Sackowitz. Sig Sackowitz was a radio and TV personality in Chicago. And uh, George Reedy was also from Chicago. And I believe he was also a reporter. So before he was the, before he walked into the White House as a press secretary, he was a reporter for United Press in Washington, D.C. So, now this is the, this is a very interesting part here where Reedy has some very good insight on how the president is dangerously isolated from the harsh realities of the outside world. So I thought I would just put this in here because this is some very, very important ideas and quotes here from Reedy. And then after we get through this little paper here, we'll get on with the letters, the uh, historic letters that I want to share with you. But how ironic. I mean, some of the things that George Reedy is talking about here, if you really think about it, has a lot to do with what's going on today, doesn't it? Think about it. So I'll just let you go ahead and read. I like this part here. When a president is happy and pleased, his assistants race behind him shoulder to shoulder in lockstep. But when storm signals are flying, the president makes that journey alone. This is the part that really makes me wonder about you know Donald Trump today when Donald Trump is not happy the aides are not there are they he's the president's by himself isolated this one here I put this in here oh the, okay this one here is uh, Poland Sig Sakowitz was trying to get a visa but they were holding up the visa and Sig thought it was because he was too close to the Catholic hierarchy. I thought that was very important. So, okay, here's some of the letters. George Reedy, I believe, was able to get an interview between the president and Sig Sakowitz through Jack Valenti. So I believe there's some historic importance to these letters and of course here's the from the desk of SIG he says do you think you could arrange a short visit with the president on March 22nd 23rd so that means uh, SIG Sackowitz was going to be in Washington DC and would like to talk to the president now this is an interesting letter they're talking about Pierre Salinger Salinger and Pierre resigned as the press secretary in March of 1964. And of course, this letter is December of 1963. So in March, when Pierre resigned in March of 64, Reedy was named, put into that position. Just some more letters from the White House press secretary. This one is dated January 15th, 1964. 
And of course, Sig Sakowitz was famous for writing letters to everybody, and he was always asking for favors. Sig Sakowitz was not shy about asking for favors. Trust me, he would he would write letters to governors and unbelievable this guy. So what is it? Oh, it says here he's been put on the hot seat. Things were pretty turbulent back then. I mean, it was tough. I mean, right after the assassination, that year after the assassination, you had Vietnam. Things were really, really not going all that well back then. A lot of heat put on the White House. So let's see if there's anything else here. This letter is from May 11th, 1964. So as you can see, George Reedy and Sig Sakowitz were probably pretty close. They might have even grown up together in Chicago. And here we have Sig Sakowitz. Not only did TV and radio, it looks like he did documentary films for school children. He was heavily into Polish ethnic causes. That was one thing Sig, uh, Sig was Polish, of course. This one's April 22nd, 1965. This would have been about the time. Now in March, March of 65 is when Vietnam started to heat up. Okay, thanks for watching.